So I decided to come back during the daytime. Um, this is where we went and did our little frog date night and we found the Pacific tree frog. So we know that they're in here. I wanted to look back in this area and see if we could find any eggs. Also, I was trying to collect some pond water for some macroinvertebrates for my baby salamanders. But then I noticed, I don't know if it'll show up. Oh, come on. They're here somewhere. I just saw them. Let's see if I can, there they are. There, that is some Pacific tree frog eggs. They were probably laid. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. Just probably lay the night that we came out here. There you go. There's some. It's as close as I can get without falling in this water. So yeah, just wanted to share that. Thought that was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, if I find some more. So the frog that we found, oh Jesus, sorry, was like somewhere in here, um, the male that was leading the chorus, but I'm not seeing any eggs over here, so whatever, that's cool that, you know, there was eggs Okay, right so I just dipped this bucket here in the water and, you know, like in there to get some pond water so I could get some macroinvertebrates. And, uh, <laughs> look what I ended up just randomly chancing getting. Okay, if it'll ever stop moving. It's a little, um, it's a singlet, a singlet egg. And I, I'm not entirely sure what it is yet. Um, could be a number of things. It's it's about to it's about to hatch out of there and I'm gonna put it back I don't I don't need more responsibilities but what the heck that's so cool come on okay well that here's its body But I can't. It, I'm having a hard time actually seeing inside the egg. It's just really dirty. It's definitely something. It's either a salamander, which would be. This would be a long toad if it was gonna be a salamander. It could be a newt. Um, I know they lay single eggs sometimes, or this could be a Pacific tree frog, but this, I don't know. I don't know. It's definitely not a Northwestern though. They lay those big jelly thingies. There goes a little guy. Some sort of bug. Oh, is, that, is that a petal? I don't know what that is. Well, my curiosity's gotten the better of me, so we're just gonna do it. Not hurting it, by the way. Just so that you guys know. I don't see, I don't see a double membrane, but that doesn't mean it's not there. It just means that maybe I personally don't see it. You guys see it though. Let's know what this little guy is. Um, the jelly is shaking, not the... I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy back because I don't want to take this one. So we're just gonna take this one. I want to put them kind of back where I found them. 
so probably over here. Oh, I think. Goodbye. So I went for another bucket because I want to get as many macroinvertebrates as I can, and there's another egg mass. This one is a Pacific tree frog. But um, like what the freak are the chances? Oops. So yeah, there's some dead ones in that one though. You see the little white moldy thingies. Crazy! Frogs were getting busy the other night. I'll have to check back on these too and see see them as they progress. Now that I know they're here and like that the eggs are laid, coming back here too. store when I went to the store last. I guess axolotls are becoming really popular here lately, which is fine. Like, it's great. I'm glad that, you know, because they're on the endangered species list, they're like about to become extinct in the wild. Uh, so the more people know about them and think, you know, like, think that they're cute and worth saving, the better for the species. But look at this. <laughs> it's so cute. This little tail. Um, so this is technically an axolotl, but an axolotl is uh, a salamander that never morphs out into its terrestrial stage. Um, so really, I like to use this to show people what I'm talking about when I mean like salamander larvae or uh, like the the giant, some giant salamanders like the copes giant salamander. They stay in their neotonic stage. Neotonic, neo grammar is not my thing. Starts with an N. Anyway, this is what they look like for the rest of their lives. But rarely, on occasion, they will actually morph out onto, um, onto land into their terrestrial stage. But most of the time, they look like these cute little guys. So, this is Persephone. Um, that's what we named her. <laughs> but this is what I like to use when I see people and they're asking me what the heck I'm doing, especially at school and a restoration site, and they don't know salamanders look like this in their aquatic stage. But they do and it's super cute so yeah just wanted to share that thought you guys would be interested okay that's it for real for real that's it I promise <laughs> bye